have success and you win games, accolades come along with it. And there's a lot of guys who are deserving of, of those accolades. With what we've seen with seven Pro Bowlers and they'll be All Pros in the mix as well. And it's it's uh, it's those are fun things. Again, that's that's not why you play the game. You play the game uh, to dominate, to compete, and to win rings. Uh, but anyone who says that those those things aren't on their mind or not important to them uh, is not the type of competitor that I am. That stuff is important to me, and, and I do uh, relish the opportunity to be in the mix. That means I'm playing well, and our team is in good position as well. Interesting thought there from Aaron Rodgers, that anyone who says MVPs and individual accolades don't matter in football isn't the type of competitor he is. And maybe he's technically accurate because he's the type of competitor who is focusing on things that are unrelated to the goals of football, which are team success. And he tried to thread the needle by saying, if I'm getting the individual accolades, that means my team is doing well. It's kind of a clunky argument to make, and it could be as Pete Demolitis has tried to goad us into saying, shade at Tom Brady, whose position is, I don't care about that stuff. All I care about is winning championships. Look at my rings. What do you think about this, Chris? Well, I, I think I think that was an MVP answer from the MVP. I mean, damn, he just, he said it like it is. That was an awesome answer. You know, he said, I'm not, I'm in it to win rings and dominate. And like, well, that's what I want to do. But I like the other stuff, just like every other player in the history of football. And yeah, whether they want to admit it or not, it's a real thing. There's no doubt. I, I love how Rodgers embraces this part of all of it. You know, instead of playing us like dummies and being like, I don't really care and I don't pay attention to these things. And, you know, which is like when the guy says that, it means like he's going home and getting online and going, what is, where am I at today? Am I in the race? Am I going to win? <laughs> that, that's what those guys are doing. Rodgers is the kind of guy that's like, he's always paying attention to it and paying attention to the league and what's going on. He really knows all the little nuances in the league. And I, I, he, he doesn't go home and then have to stew about it. He just goes, wait, I'm going to go to practice tomorrow and kick butt, and we're going to kick butt as a team, and then I'm going to kick butt individually. And, yeah, he's basically saying, I want it all. I want the damn rings, the MVP trophy, and all of it. And so does everybody. I, I just give him credit for laying it out there. I like that aspect of Aaron Rodgers. I know some people call it complaining or making excuses and all that crap, and that's where I just, I, I you know, I defend him, as you can tell. And I agree with you that these guys who are highly competitive want it all. They want all the praise. They want all the glory. They want all the recognition. The, the difference for me, and I don't know that others out there feel the same way I do, but I know this. I could give two craps about awards that are determined by human beings because I understand there are all sorts of factors that go into the votes that are cast by human beings, and it's a flawed and imperfect process, sure. and I don't really care. I would rather be judged by objective measures. So lead the league in passing yardage, lead the league in touchdowns, lead the league in wins, go win the Super Bowl. Those are objective indicators of sure. success, not are 50 people, enough of the 50 voters, are enough of them going to believe it's me and not somebody else in yeah. this kind of warped quasi-popularity contest? I don't care. Frankly, I, 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 and I, I don't care about that kind of stuff. I don't care about the honor that, that your fellow man may give you. I don't care about that. Do your job. Do your job well, and that speaks for itself, especially when you do a job where it's all measured by how many yards you throw versus how many yards this guy throws. So I, I, I just I think that I, I just I, that's where I'm kind of having a hard time with it because I really don't think he should care about anything that reporters, sports writers, broadcasters, human beings vote on. I don't think anyone should care about that stuff. Well, that's my opinion. No, I, I, I get that. You know, I don't, I don't think he. It's like a make or break thing in his life. I think it's just about, yes, he's an overall competitor and he wants to win at everything. I mean, you know, I spent two, two, you know, uh, golf holes with him out in Lake Tahoe two summers ago. I'm telling you, he wanted to whoop the crap out of the course and the guys that were playing with him. And he wanted to impress me and go uh, he wanted me to walk away and go, damn, that's the best golfer out here. He had an eagle and a birdie on the two holes I walked with him. Not saying I'm a good luck charm, but I'm just saying. All right? But either way, I think that's just what he is. He is the ultimate showman. 
he wants to put on a show, dominate, be talked about as the best. You're right. The, the voting system's so flawed. But the fact that you're in the conversation, there is some justification to your play a little bit to go, okay, well, not all 50 guys are idiots that are voting. You know, there, I must be doing something good to be in that conversation. And two, it is part of legacies. Like it or not, it is part of the conversation now. And you're right. I agree with you totally that it's a flawed popularity contest. But at the end of the day, a lot of these guys' careers are measured on this this type of thing. And, you know, Rodgers, I think, you know, of course, he's he's very – aware of his legacy and he lets that be known too i think far more important to anyone's legacy is winning a super bowl and being super bowl sure. mvp not being the mvp of the regular season and it's been now 21 years and counting since someone has won both and it was kurt warner the last one to be the league mvp and also win the super bowl and be the super bowl mvp so i i just think that i agree and isn't it funny that in adults in athletes, we admire this intense level of competition that takes over everything they do from playing gin rummy to playing ping pong to playing pinball to playing video games to playing golf to playing this, playing that. This intense, relentless, competitive fire we think is admirable when those same traits that we see in a child we think is yeah, <laughs> immature. Right. He's always got to win. Right. Oh, God, can you give it a break, Johnny? You've got to win every game. Come on, let somebody else win. It's just a weird dichotomy that that we hold up adults who are that way on a pedestal when we look down on kids who just won't let it go. Come on, you don't have to win every time, do you? Isn't that strange? It, it is strange, but I don't know. You're right. When you become a grown-up and money becomes on the line and it becomes a profession, you know, and it's a child's game where, you know. No, we, but they do it about everything. It's not do. a profession. No. Like you said, they do it about everything. Drew Brees is that way about everything. It becomes Michael almost about right. everything. It becomes part of the legacy of everything about them. Again, I think it's more about that. It's the overall entity and the aura around it, you know. John Elway, I was growing up, I would always hear stories. John Elway kicking people's butt on the golf, you know, the golf course. I think we've both heard the story about how he used to kick everybody's butt in, um, in pool, right? And then one day, uh, this is a famous story I was, I've been told many times, where a teammate beat him, and he was so distraught about it that he sold the damn pool table the next day and got a new one because <laughs> it was bad luck. That's what psycho type A quarterbacks do that are like Hall of Famers and that kind of thing. They are. They want my, my dad, you know, not that he's John Elway or Tom Brady, but, you know, my dad did win a Super Bowl and was pretty big time. He's the same damn way. I mean, we could be playing shuffleboard on, you know, Thanksgiving Day and he's talking crap and wants to let everybody know in the room he's the best and going to kick your butt. That's just part of the mindset of these guys. And uh, I just think it's cool that Rodgers lets us see it a little bit more than some of the other players in football. We're now at the point where we presume that Rogers is going to win the award, and this was the whole purpose of the segment as yeah. we have wasted MVP, it all talking MVP. about Rogers' competitiveness. <laughs> Shereen Williams made the point yesterday. Is there a case to be made for Josh Allen as MVP? Because Patrick Mahomes isn't playing this weekend. He's not getting to 5,000 right. passing yards. Right. I think he's out. I think it's over. I think it's Rogers, But – Look at the difference here. Rodgers has 4,059 passing yards and 44 passing touchdowns. Josh Allen has 43-20, 42 total touchdowns when you factor in rushing and receiving. Doesn't he have one receiving this year? I think he has one receiving this year. I think he might year. be right. Yes, he, he does. Have one too, yes, he yeah. does. And and uh, uh, so um, I I think why it's are closer we just than assuming. People, yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, this is a this is a conflict for you. Well, it is. It, you know, and and Josh Allen. I agree. I mean, to what you're saying and Shireen's saying, I mean, first off, they have the same record the Green Bay Packers do, right? So we know that, okay, they're they're playing at a high level. Yeah, his yards are better. They don't have the run game Green Bay has. But just like all those three on there, Allen has entered the stratosphere of I can carry the team and do things that the rest of you can't other than maybe those three right there. Nonetheless, he has arrived and he's in that type of conversation, which is cool. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.